from the pin. Okay, remember when you pin someone, you need to be able to control the outside and the inside of the body. Your chest should be on top of the center line unless you know how to pin a person regardless of your size, right? Because some people like to go high, some people like to go low. Most people that do this right will stay on top of the center line. So from, from, the, from the side control, last week we did the five pins. Kessa, reverse Kessa, corner hold, going to the opposite side, doing Kessa and reverse Kessa. And then the mount was extra bonus. So to go, we're gonna go to reverse Kessa from side control, okay? One, I pull the elbow. My knee goes up to his ear, okay? Now, my left hand or my left elbow goes over to his left ear. I'm going to use my right arm and lift his elbow or I'm going to push his arm towards his head as I push my head or lean down, cup the armpit, okay? Notice I'm pinning him with my hip and my arm. My right hand will be right by his right hip. My right leg comes up. Notice that when I extend my right leg, I am not leaning forward like this, okay? I just need to extend my leg a little bit and I'm still on top. My left knee is gonna slide alongside his body as I sit on my left hip. That's reverse Kessa, okay? I'm driving my hip into his armpit. I'm pulling my elbow into his neck, head down. So he's gonna wiggle a little bit. I'm okay here. It's important to learn how to get to the position, not just going for a choke, but how do you get there, right? So we're gonna start from the corner. I'm going to, I'm going to reverse cast, I'm going to corner hold this time. I'm going to lift my hip up most of the time when the person on the bottom, their elbow is up. As soon as there's room, that elbow comes in. So as I come up, this elbow comes in. If it doesn't, I reach and pull that arm, pull it out, okay? Now, from here, we can set up the submission. Now, to make it easy, everybody in the side, please. Look at my right leg. Look at the left side of my chest. I'm leaning on his chest and on the side of his face. Head down, okay? Now, I'm going to, if I'm unable to grab his collar for whatever reason, I want to grab directly behind his neck. If I'm unable to, I'm going to put my, my midsection on his head and push, make him turn. At the same time, I open my left elbow because if I don't open my left elbow, he's gonna bump and roll me, okay? This is a very common mistake. Look at my left elbow, I frame. See, look, I'm just gonna open my left elbow and my head is down. See, so look, it's a bump. You see that? Look at my left leg. Now, if he bumps, it's a perfect world because as he bumps, I grab the back of his collar. See that? <coughs> and if he does turn, I do the same thing. Okay? Now I'm going back this way. Look at my bump. My head will be down. I'm going to control his left arm. Look at my left hand. Elbows in, grab his bicep, use your head. Look. What does he want to do here? He wants to push you or grab your elbow. See? He grabs your elbow, you get stuck. It's okay. Tuck it in, put your head down. See that? Now, watch my hip. I back off. He keeps trying to reach to try to defend. Look at my elbow. My forearm goes across his neck. See right here. I'm gonna I'm going to keep the grip shallow so that you will see how you fit how the finish ends. You can get it really tight, but you're not gonna learn much because you're gonna have to learn to adjust your hip. I'm gonna go a little high. Okay? So if he's cross facing me, look at my head. I'm backing off. I'm going to cinch. I'm going to cinch my elbow down, if you can. I prefer to keep my forearm in front of my chest. Okay, as I pull my arm in, I'm going to put my chest 
right on top of my forearm. If this does not work for you, on the side is fine, right? Play around, see what works. Now, it's light, it's cool, right? So, I'm going to back off, okay? I'm going to drive forward, see that? Now I'm going to work on opening my chest. Because it's loose, it's not very tight. I'm going to start turning towards his head as I drive and open my chest. So the pressure comes from the hip, the chest. The arm is just to make sure that he doesn't slip. Okay? So I'm gonna do the whole thing and then you guys can just watch, okay? Okay, set again. Yes, yeah. 